Hi, this is Lexi and Sid of Hess Van Schlemmer Metalworks and Art, home of the Schlemmer Metal Wolves. We are a small but furious family-run welding, fabrication, and metalworks shop with CNC capabilities and now full-scale powder coating operation. We bring unique, affordable quality art to life within the realm of practicality. Whether it's signs, sculptures, railings, shelves, furniture, or even just powder coat for your rims or your patio set, Give us a look, check us out on Facebook or Instagram, or call 618-670-5724. We are Hess Van Schlemmer Metalworks. That was terrible. Allie tried. Hey everybody, Shane here. Let me tell you about my friends over at Naked Vine, located at 1624 Clarkson Road in Chesterfield, Missouri. Swing by and visit them anytime for a glass of wine, whiskey, or local craft beers, but you can come by on Thursday September 27th, and see Nick Gussman there. And Friday, September 28th, Bottoms Up Blues Gang. Saturday, September 29th, Beth Bombara. You can find a full music calendar on nakedvine.net. Follow along with them also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, I will return to Naked Vine on Tuesday, October 9th, for my monthly singer-songwriter storytelling show. This month, uh, we'll be bringing along Phil Ruzzo, Matt Hitchcock, and Samantha Clemens. It's a $5 cover for that show. 7 p.m. start. So come on and join us at Naked Vine. Again, everything at nakedvine.net. Um, the podcast is kind of like a, it's like a radio show that's not on the radio. It's on, it's on the internet. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's also like my mom. Uh, it makes it sound more confusing, doesn't it? Uh, it sounds like this. What's going on, world? Is Darius Marcel Hagens, Zachary Clark, Caressa Davis, and Devaron Davis. And we are the cast of Afflictum. This, this is, is Rock, Rock Paper, Paper Podcast. Rock Paper Podcast. Rock Paper Podcast. Rock Paper Podcast, y'all.
Hey everybody, Shane Presley here, Rock Paper Podcast, coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri. Hanging out tonight with the cast of Efflictum. Yes. Right. Welcome yeah. to the show, everybody. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Thank you. You guys, uh, you guys care to introduce yourselves and for everybody listening and uh, maybe your character name, I guess? Absolutely. Ladies first. Um, my name is Caressa Davis, and I play Jocelyn Cromwell. I'm um, um, Zachary Clark. I play Marcus Holbrook. I am Darius Marcel Higgins, and I play Sherry Dotson. And my name is Devron Davis, and I play Lorenzo Daniels. All right. Yeah, very cool. You hear the power yeah. in these names? I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> this is <laughs> money, man. I'm just saying. Yeah. I, uh, I, I'm excited about this because like, uh, I've, I've kind of been aware of this for a while, I guess. I know the, the when it was the, I guess, started out as the series. Yeah, yeah, it started and stuff. out as a web series. Um, so, I mean, I, me and uh, me and Devron go way back uh, from high school and stuff. So, we've kind of yeah. been, uh, in t- you know, friendly for a long time now. And then, like, so I was kind of aware of the, the web series and stuff. And then, like, uh, it was kind of cool to see this still going and uh, and has developed now into uh, a feature film. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, I guess uh, we're let's start with that. Like, how does this be? How do we take that step from web series to making it a film? Um, the initial st- the, the the step from the web series was just quality overall. Uh, we wanted. I, I just for the story, it didn't look and sound like it needed to for the story that was being told. So I, that was first and foremost. And then secondly, we had some um, major networks that were looking at us. And so we had to reformat. So we've shot this about four times already. So um, we had to reformat for um, TV. And uh, they wanted, instead of 15 minute episodes, they wanted 30 to 45 minute episodes. So of course we had to add content, add characters and uh, reshoot and then for that was only a pilot season because we only had four episodes, and so, but the time frame they wanted us to finish the uh, the series in, we didn't have enough time because of course you know like cast and crew we all working pro bono you know everybody had a job so we were only filming one day a week, and the time frame we had to finish we wouldn't have finished it when when they wanted it to be done so we kind of just like took those four episodes, cut and chopped footage and put it together to a full feature that way we were we made ourselves marketable in a reasonable about of time to secure the deal that we do have now with the streaming aggregator. So that's kind of how it went from web series to full feature movie. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, And then uh, I was also, uh, I guess, like kind of going back, because all of you were in the web series also, right? Uh, Yes. It was the same same cast? No, except for Darius. I I came in last. I mean, at the time when I came in, it was still a web series, but I've been a part of the, the very final round of shooting with everything mm-hmm. uh, which is interesting because I watched it initially because I watched it because Zach was in it you know what I'm saying I've known him since high school yeah. so I saw it and I was like I'm going to be in it so it was like a weird thing to actually end up being in it but then being one of the main characters like, it was a weird turn of events so it was kind of <laughs> dope to come a part of it yeah yeah, yeah that's uh, that's always cool like I, I uh, you know follow a lot of bands around and like I have friends that are like they were a fan of the band and now they're in the band, you know, and it's, like that, it's that kind of thing too. Like it's just, it's all kind of comes full circle like that. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but uh, so, what about the rest of the cast? How do, how does this group form? You, did you guys have like auditions, or are you all friends, or um, all friends? Oh, we had an audition, but the only yes. one to really respond to our audition was Zach. Sometimes you just gotta show yeah. up, you know. Right? <laughs> I, I show up, you know. It just. It's real. Oh, thank you. I'm part of the cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice yeah. to be here. Oh, yeah, but everybody else I've, I've known, like Zach brought on Darius, and then I've known Ressa since high school. So we all, I mean, it's, it's long lasting relationships, at least between two or three people at a time. And then yeah. we all, and everybody's paths cool. cross. Like we're starting to realize that we all know the same exact people somehow, some way. For sure. Because, yeah. Because, like, we lived in the same building. Mm-hmm. Uh, years ago. I didn't even know that's right now. Yeah, we live in the Metropolitan. <laughs> yeah, we live in the Metropolitan. That's why it's like, which you know what I'm saying? It was just like. How I got into it was doing an interview for them at the Artist Lives. Yeah. So it was yeah. just like. Crazy, right? When she was with, um, when Ressa was with uh, Young Be Free. Yeah. Young and, yeah, Young and Free. She did an interview with the web series cast mm-hmm. before the new people came, and now and she's in girl, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
it is a uh, I do feel like St. Louis I mean we we definitely are a big city but like we're like still a small town big city like yeah. everybody yeah. knows everybody kind of thing like mm-hmm. it is uh, really neat in that sense where um, but uh, so uh, as far as like the um, stories and scripts and things was that do you guys collaborate a lot on the writing on that stuff too or is this uh or is this, uh, how does that process come about? Well, the main power of the story came from um, Devron. He, uh, you know, orchestrated everything, but he he didn't object to us um, having ideas at all. But uh, yeah. mm-hmm. most of the power of the words came from uh, our fearless director, yeah. <laughs> Devron Davis. Right. Yeah. And then uh, is going uh, from the series to now the f- the film. We were, uh, you were saying that uh, you had been reformatted a few different times but mm-hmm. was uh, a lot of the the initial idea was all still kind of the, the gist of the story was still say the same or or yeah, was it kind yeah. of rewritten and um, stuff too no the story is still the same it's just it was really hard because we had great shots for episodes so it was hard to cut footage because I man there was just a lot of good shots mm-hmm. just to be honest but it, it wasn't it wasn't um, pertinent to the story, but there was a lot of great shots. So it was hard to do, but it's, it's still the same story. Sure. Just we have a lot of shots that that had to get cut, unfortunately. Yeah. And I, I had to hand that to somebody else. My executive producer, actually, Monty Ball Senior, is executive producing. So I just gave it to him, and I was like, "Yo, I can't. I probably yeah. won't cut anything. It's yeah. gonna be two and a half hours if you leave it to me. So yeah. <laughs> I need you to cut it out." So he did, and sure. we, we ended up with a good, a good final project. Yeah. I I see I've seen the trailer. Uh it's now available um uh, on the Facebook page and uh you flicked them the movie dot com. com. Mm-hmm. Uh so I it, and yeah, like you're saying, there there's a lot of really great shots in there. Uh just it looks really well done and um I'm excited to see the feature film now coming up. Uh we do have a big uh, screening party. Uh we're we're putting on uh November third now. Yeah, at, November third. Uh, at Aristotle State University. Yeah. Yes. So tickets are available. You can head on over to reflectonthemovie.com and purchase tickets today and uh, come on out to the screening. Um, so what, uh, let's go through this evening. Like this is going to be um, 7 o'clock doors, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Doors open at 7 o'clock. Show's going to start at 8. So we'll have like... Uh, We'll have food and drinks, of course, but it'll be a discussion panel afterwards. Afterwards, the uh, after movies play, we'll have a discussion panel. So it's going to be red carpet photographers the whole night, man. It's going to be a big deal, a real big deal, man. These these guys and girls have worked really hard on this, man, and I just want everybody to see what they and we have been working on. I can't wait. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a, honestly, it's a a year come for me. Yeah, at this point. We'll Has it been a year? year. Yeah. Oh, it's been a year. Five. Six. Yeah. 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 We started this in 2012. We started this. That's when it was a web series, and it just evolved and kept evolving, snowballing. Yeah, for the better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not a negative snowball. Sure. It's a yeah. fluffy, yeah. good news snowball. Yeah. No, no yellow snowball. Yeah, yeah. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, six years, uh, that's, a long, that's a long time yeah, yeah, to man. dedicate to. Uh, I mean, but when you finally get the right pieces, you know, clearly we're sure. here now and, you know, things got yeah. done. So we got yeah. the right pieces together. Everything happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know, you just keep building and put, put, as long as you push forward. And yeah. you know, those who are, who should be there will be, and mm-hmm. here we are. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally get it. Like, you know, I uh, I mean, it's it's way different. But in my my personal experience doing this show, like, probably it's probably similar to when you started the web series. Maybe like when I started my doing my podcast, I didn't you know I I had an idea of what I wanted to do, and then like, but I didn't really know how I was going to do it you know it's like I started just recording all the time having some fun with it but like and as I as you do it more and more you get better and better so like yeah. you, you've you learned how to be better director and better writer and better actor and everything over the years and then you'd be able to when now when you have a, the product uh, coming forward now as a feature film like you're more prepared today you know and then it comes yeah. off as much better product and 
So I, I feel like that too with the, you know just grinding all the time, trying to get better at all my craft. The time, yeah. yeah, it's it's a consistent grind, man, and, and it doesn't. Now for me, um, I'm sure they give a little bit too, but for me, like the process was really enlightening for me because it gave a new appreciation for film and the, and the world of entertainment for me because you just over six years like the stuff that I've learned the the friends that I've lost and the money that I've lost and the, the sleep that I've lost is when it comes together as it has come together your appreci your level of appreciation just skyrockets through the roof and just to know like yo when you when you think back on how many times I was about to give up like Oh, it. it's not it's not going how I want it to go like so just whatever and and to be honest man them they kept me in this for real like when the when the time came where I was like man I can't do this but to think about 2012 and a year ago and now she's on the cast and to think about the work that they've put in and what the effort they gave just to make my vision come to life man like you just you can't give up on that you can't give up on them anybody yeah, that's, that's what it was like for me, for sure. So, um, so we got the like I said the, the big screening party. Um, so come on out to that. Uh, again, you get to you'll gonna play the entire film. Yeah, yeah. And then you them. get to hang out with the cast afterwards. Yeah, and a little chit chat. Yeah, yeah. 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 which would be an interesting time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it always is. is. Vibe is outside of service. <laughs> yeah, we, we like actually vibe outside of the show. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's I'm like I'm really cool dynamic you know that like like we said everybody kind of knows each other so it's like we're able to bounce off each other's energy and mm -hmm. ideas and stuff like that so we have some really interesting conversations by ourselves so i know having a the crowd there is going to be that much more interesting for you sure know, having people asking questions probably questions we've never even heard too yeah. which would be even more fun because we'll probably discover stuff about the family that we didn't even notice yep. mm -hmm. yeah yeah you uh well, let's talk about a little bit more about the film. Um, for anybody that hasn't seen the trailer yet, um, or uh, or been aware of the web series and things, let's, let's can we uh, give a oh, little yeah, light yeah. on we the, can, the we story can and stuff? Go ahead. You should start with how you got. Yeah. You know, like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the the um, he flicked them the movie. That's what we're talking about. Right. right. How he flicked them even got started was me and a good friend of mine we were leaving a quick trip and this guy offered us 15 grand to drive him downtown so he had this duffel bag with him he wouldn't tell us what was in a duffel bag he just kept saying the people we're going to meet are going to pay you so that's where this whole thing came from so it's the movie is based off of what would have happened if we went what would you do yeah yeah what would jesus do <laughs> yeah so that's that's where the whole idea came from man and the, and the twist and the turns and relationships and the drama and suspense, the love story, the action is is it's all it's all there within the story. Yeah, and I can't wait. I can't wait for people to see it. Yeah. Yeah. And all this uh, filmed in St. Louis. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. The only thing that we didn't film within St. Louis was. I can't tell you, but it's one of the finale scenes. Okay. We actually shot that in Wentzville, like way out in the country. So, yeah, but it was, it was, uh, it was this metro area. I'm like, where y'all go? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gotta take a trip. That was that one weekend. <laughs> yeah, that one weekend. Boys <laughs> trip. <laughs> Upset. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I say that all the time. I mean, like I always say, I'm from St. Louis, but yeah, I, I live out in Wentzville, so it's like yeah, it's just um, yep, right. <laughs> it is because we were like, what's that? Yeah, because yeah. like, right. yeah, everybody see the sign for Wentzville in St. Louis, but never actually uh, yeah. been oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, very cool. I'm like, I'm excited. Like I said, just I I I've, I've had like again I do a lot of interviews with uh, musicians around town, and you, I mean I love when I see their music videos and I see you know in front of the arch or wherever it might be, you know, around mm -hmm. St. Louis and different things, and it just makes me proud to see my friends doing cool stuff right here in our hometown yeah. and putting you know St. Louis on the map um, for whatever it is, you know, music and film and. You know, so uh, it's really exciting times right now happening in St. Louis. Yeah, it is, oh, yeah. man. And that's and uh, that's a good thing that I want to do with Reflect Them is just build a platform to keep 
expanding the brand of St. Louis. Yeah. You know, not just me or us. You know, it's like St. Louis is a brand. We don't even get the recognition we deserve because I feel like this region is just as, if not more talented than the South, the East, and the West. You know what I'm saying? We have talent here that rivals all of that. Yes. You know, it's not just, just, St. Louis breeds talent. We have plenty of people that are on the scene that have come up through like you know you walk through U city and see the walk of fame or you know you know like you've got john ham and you've got all you've got all these people that are from here and that no matter how much they hated growing up here or you know it whatever it is it, it's it's being in this space and being in a place where you have to create there's so much here and I think a lot of times we end up taking it for granted. Like, mm -hmm. it's, oh, well, I know so-and-so is talented. Or I know we have all this free access to all these really cool, like, landmarks and um, places to go and hang out. But because we're so used to it, you know, there's tons of people that have lived here forever, seen the arch their whole life, and have never, never gone upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Never. <laughs> I've never been in art. <laughs> that's like that's a, that that's a thing, and so yeah. there's there's all this stuff right here, and so it's cool to be able to have something that that highlights those things and highlights that St. Louis is a destination. St. Louis does have yeah. something to offer and not to forget about us because we're in the middle of the country yeah. and and it's know, a world renowned whatever. city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, honestly, like the coolest part about me um, having a camera nowadays. I get to go places I never would have gone. Mm -hmm. So I get to see the city in different perspectives. Mm -hmm. um, and when you do that, it changes your view. Like I personally think St. Louis is beautiful. I just think that the people within St. Louis, they haven't had anything to believe in. Mm -hmm. So they their, their vision of the fact that this is historical architecture and all these different types of, you know what I'm saying, we got one of the greatest baseball teams, we got one of the greatest monuments in the world, we got all these other things, you know what I'm saying? Forest Park is the biggest park in all of the country. Did y'all know that? Like, it's like the know that. biggest part. Yeah. Big, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we don't think about it because it's just, oh, it's Forest Park. And we just like, oh, it's Forest yeah. Park. You know what I'm saying? We just keep going. But when you start to dig deeper and understand the logistics of everything, you understand how important St. Louis is. And, definitely, you know, the, the type of artists that are being created in St. Louis are, in my opinion, probably going to be some of the most influential artists of all time because of the fact that we've been so marginalized mm -hmm. and it's honestly one of the first conversations we had when I came on set um, we were talking about it the fact that people have overlooked us either that or exploited us and not given us our credit for or, or payment for whatever things we're doing you know St. Louis has their hand in everything but now what it's done is taking these artists have figured out how to create great art at uh, low cost you know, so now it's like we ain't got no money for this. <laughs> yeah, like real, so it's like now it's like we don't need major anything. So when people come to us, now you got to talk numbers because we know we don't need you. Mm -hmm. You know, how can you help us? Not the other way around. You know, and it and it makes it where now there's this renaissance that's taking place, mm -hmm. and there's so many pockets of people who are doing exactly what we're doing. And those people are starting to realize that, oh, they're doing what we're doing. And those people are starting to branch together and then slowly but surely you're finding this, this synergy. And as that synergy happens, it's not just creating um, you know, camaraderie amongst artists, but it's starting to create this actual infrastructure that's never existed before. Yeah. Most of the time, artists are competing here. Yeah. Yeah. But now people are realizing like, oh, you can make a movie and I can make a movie too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But right. it you know what I'm the saying? beautiful it, part about it, it man, yeah, the competition is yeah. obsolete. And now we're yep. building together. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like, that's the most beautiful part about yep. it. Yeah. Everybody's starting to realize everybody else's worth mm -hmm. and how we all create, like, we're all a piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. We're all, we we all have to work together. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, African proverb. If you want to go far, go together. If you want to go fast, go alone. Yes. Oh, yeah. And so yes. I think because it, one, I mean, it, it has taken time. Mm -hmm. Um but because we've been able to grow with one another and not just yeah. the cast of Afflictum, but I think as just artists in St. Louis, I think, I, I know that you all have done a lot of stuff with various different entities and, and theater groups and musicians. Deron, you've worked with a bunch of different people and it's like yeah. all of those relationships 
our shining light on one another and it's yeah. just going to be like this beautiful light shining on the city. Yeah, yeah. And telling interesting stories. I mean, because yeah. it's, it's one thing for people to just do something, but people are telling interesting stories that, you know, that haven't been told before. And I think being, like uh, Darius said, being overlooked can breed innovation. You know, yeah. when mm-hmm. you overlook so much, you like, I got to do something that speaks to people, mm-hmm. but something that also relates to me. And yeah. when you when you tell stories from an honest place, people respond to it, you know, yeah. like in a positive way, because sure. it's real and you yeah. can't you can't mimic uh, real life, you know, especially if it's, you know, like uh, this is a real story. Afflictum is real. You know, this is something yeah. that it didn't personally like happen all the way through, but the truth is in the heartbeat of it. So yep. you, you gotta feel it and you gotta respond to it. And yeah. everything in, in St. Louis is happening the same way. <clears throat> yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. What's what's the um well, I guess uh, biggest uh like hurdle you guys had to like come across uh when you were filming this? Is there any anything like that was really made oh, difficult? I'm yeah, yeah, not getting killed. We yeah. uh, <laughs> there were some scenes we had guns in, life and, and uh, death. yeah, it, it became a life and death situation quick, real quick. But uh, outside of that, man, I say the biggest hurdle was um, schedules. Sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, schedules. Yeah, because it's shooting one day a week with people who have day jobs, and we trying to get this. Product done. <laughs> Sorry, if y'all can see this on video, you would know what just happened. It was hilarious. She's okay. Cheryl, is it Cheryl? Strong side. No, that's not bro. No, it's not. Put the thing back in there. Some gorilla wood glue. That'll be out. I actually just took some of my Oh my god. Somebody has to have broke this before. This that that chair falling apart on her is exactly it the hurdles that we had to come over. Like when you think something is solid and then it just like falls apart that quick and you gotta reshoot a scene. Like there's been many times where we've been on set and a scene happens and the sound audio wasn't on or one of the cameras wasn't rolling. Like it's just stuff like that. But those are hurdles that happen when you have cast that's also crew members, you know what I'm saying, because Zach's work sound, I work sound, I've been on camera, Zach has been on the camera, Darius has worked sound before, you know, like, when you have dual duties, it's tough, but um, but the biggest hurdle was, I would say, schedule for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That, it, it's tricky. Uh, I know, I know from, uh, from experience, like, trying to do this show and everything else, uh, it's, it's sometimes can be a nightmare trying to Trying to sky. I, and I know from personally myself. I mean, I, I, I work two jobs and try to do the show and everything. So we're like, yeah, you know, scheduling gets a little little wild sometimes. But yeah, but yeah, especially when you try to get five, six more, or whatever, more people. Yeah, it can, yep. be, it can be real difficult. Yeah, but it's worth it. Oh, I yeah. mean, like sure. with you with two jobs, you know, persevering is is it can have its uh, difficulties. But when you're done, you mm-hmm. get you when you see something come together, it's worth it. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's uh, I was I was taught at uh, an early age if I wanted something I got to work hard for it. So. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah ain't, ain't nothing old to you. Yeah. yeah, and that was and that was one of the biggest things when we were on set. Um, we just kind of were there, you know. Like even though we were like, oh, we're gonna rehearse on so or we have, you know, what I'm saying shooting on Sunday. It was never like, oh, is it gonna be done at five? I don't know. It's like Sunday. <laughs> and yeah. we just go because we knew that it's like we don't get it right now we're going to have to shoot again you know what I'm saying like we knew so it made us honestly it made us become more efficient mm-hmm. but then also it made us more passionate you know like we really wanted to figure it out so it became this collective effort of us trying to just solve the riddle you know what I'm saying we knew it was there you know what I'm saying but you had to um, yeah so it's like you, you figure out shots quicker um, you figure out moments quicker and then, like, you, you show up to a scene prepared differently. Right. Like, it was uh, one particular scene. It was so funny because uh, Zach and I kind of caught the crew off guard because we were rehearsing and nobody knew we were rehearsing. But we were rehearsing for, in the car ride to the set, on the set. And then when we did the take, we did one take, and they were like, I think we're 
done. Yeah. No, but this is like, yeah, it's like we got it right on the first time, but time for lunch. that happens though because we get the the idea because that you know the funny part when the day your car was tripping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like it's like well, nobody could have accounted for that, but mm-hmm. we were so ready that it didn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. so many other things got thrown off, but. You know, you just learn a lot and you, you come prepared so much differently when yeah. you have to do it that way. But, you know, everybody committed to that, you know, on a, on a heavy level. You know what I'm saying? We were there all day yeah. some days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that the level of work that was achieved in those days was awesome. You know? Hashtag, you flicked them squad goals. <laughs> there, it is. there it is. Yeah. There it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I think the coolest part, too, no okay. egos. Yeah, it's yeah. very hard to be around talented people, and nobody has an ego. Yeah, that is not common. Mm-hmm. So all. we were all able to be heard. We were all able to be appreciated. <laughs> you know, and everybody had a level of respect for everyone on set. So that was pretty cool too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna say? Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing but a love and respect for Carissa. Mm-hmm. That uh, mm-hmm. the pleasure working with her every single time. I don't think we film enough, honestly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she I want to hear more. And, uh, the, the, Tell me more. You can you can, uh, the passion <laughs> in her time is so. Ooh, I mean, <laughs> honestly, yeah. I don't know anyone else who could have done it. The four people we had before her, it was well. <laughs> It was well worth it. Yeah. It was the weights. And she came and she delivered. Yeah. Oh it was God. literally four people. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the bad part is? I don't know if he's telling the truth. Like, 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 I really like, don't know. That's a good no, answer. Right, right on that. That's a good answer. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I'm being serious, you. though. I believe you. No, I loved every moment of uh, working with Chris. Uh, yeah. Now, I'm being funny now, but you want to know who's like goofy <laughs> and silly every time we film? Caressa. Caressa. She's the life of the party on set. Every I'm time. the only girl. I have to. And, then, <laughs> and, like, and she will hit us with that make it make sense. Yes. Uh, yes. She will hit us with, she will stop everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and all of the guys are like, we, I mean, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, you see no. it. Like, <laughs> she like, break it down. Uh, I don't get it. Explain it. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. yeah. But it makes us better, though. It makes us better yeah. communicators because, yep. She you definitely have to explain it before yeah. we move on to the next uh, yeah. scene. She make us sound like Neanderthals. We be like, yeah, you know, you take the thing, and then you do the thing, and then that's it. And she be like, no, you have to. No, I need a better explanation. <laughs> she be using words of the, the month and stuff, man. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, because I mean that that I feel like that is my contribution as yeah. a female. I have yeah. to make sure that other people like me are gonna get it. And it's like yeah. I think sometimes when you're so close to a project. Like sometimes you don't see all of the different angles, so that's what's great about having all of it these is. different perspectives. Yeah. Is that people are able to come from a different angle to give a different perspective and say, "Hey, did you yeah. think about this? Yeah. Or maybe sure. you should add this or take this out, mm-hmm. just to make sure that that the story doesn't get lost and that all of the work that is being put in doesn't get halted because somebody's like, wait a minute now, right. they're supposed to be engaged, but she doesn't have a ring. Mm. <laughs> you just, you just, you know, I knew it was going to go there. I knew it's that was going to go there. Look, no, there right. it is. <laughs> so you're ring, right? Right. Right. It comes up in every yeah. conversation. It's, it's cool. It's but anyway, but, but little I things did. like, no, I mean, <laughs> me as a girl, I change my hair a lot. Like, there's all these things no. that I have to be mindful of and um, to make sure that the continuity was there. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's like I know a lot of uh, they do like the test screenings and stuff. You know, like that's why they that's why you want to show it to an, uh, a small group of an audience to so mm-hmm. they pick up on some of those things like you know that you may not have noticed because you are too close to it to to see some of that stuff. So, um, have you guys done any of that? Have you have you had any, has um, it, have anybody anybody else besides yourself seen it? Yeah. Just uh, cast members. Friends, well, Russ is the only one who hasn't yeah. seen it yet, and that's why she's looking at me. I can feel it on the side of my neck. <laughs> like, I can feel the glare. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, friends and family have seen it. Um, that's a big thing we're doing with uh, this screening, you know, to get um, some continuity questions, mm-hmm. um, things we may have missed, because I, I'm not going to lie, working on this for since 2012, six years, man, like, working on this project, it's going to be some things that I miss because I'm so 
I'm I'm so attached mentally and emotionally. Like this is just my little my little baby right now, you know. So I need constructive criticism from an outside source. Right. It's good looking. You got a kindergarten. It's good looking. Right. I got a toddler. Living and breathing of his own. The baby's a prodigy. Let's just talk. Let's talk. Let's put it out. Well, it is uh, exciting to think about too, though that uh, you know, and maybe you know, even in the six years that this has been. you know, evolving. Uh, we now have, you know, Netflix and Hulu and all these different, um, you know, Amazon or whatever, all these different streaming services and different ways that we can get the film out there to people. You know, oh, yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of different options now, which is, uh, I think that's got to be very exciting to, even if, uh, you know, whatever, if we have the, well, the screening, but then like for afterwards and get the film out to the, around the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, that's uh, exciting stuff to think about. So. Yeah. And sometimes that's what you can't see. You know, sometimes you want to get something done so fast that you don't realize your opportunity could be greater later. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you, you could never anticipate it that Netflix would become what Netflix is becoming right. in 2012. Sure. You know, but now it's one of the most popular things that's ever existed. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's like having access to those types of things. It makes it where a project that could stall out now actually, you know, it it can go up this year and then a year or two from now be the biggest movie right you know what yeah. I'm saying so it's like you never know how it could go but it's just the fact that that platform exists you know that, that didn't exist then so it's like you never know how um, the universe is kind of bending mm-hmm. yeah. to your dreams exactly. and sometimes it may look like a, a detour you know what I'm saying it really is just actually is taking you the, the more efficient route mm-hmm. yeah and you know it's not like six years in reference of like working on a film is nothing I right. mean Avatar took 15 uh, Deadpool took 11 you know so putting years in for one particular project to yeah, see exactly. it through is not unheard of so it's mm-hmm. it is you know I'm proud to have been working on mm-hmm. this for, for sure. this long you know because when yeah. something comes together and it's right mm-hmm. you know it's worth it so, yeah. Yeah. yeah you can't beat that yeah. You can't beat that at all, man. Just the, the caliber of talent and professionalism put into Eflictum is, I'm, I'm not mad at it at all. As a matter of fact, man, I, I can't wait. I can't wait till I can tell every one of them, cast and crew, like, hey, man, y'all can quit because uh, you just got paid. So <laughs> I, I really, I really mm-hmm. can't wait for that moment to come. Like, And it's going to be so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be so sweet. Like, there's going to be no bitter to it. It's going to be all sweet That's because the, the the time and the effort and the fact that everybody's passionate. That's what I'm most grateful about. An idea came to fruition that everybody I'm working with is passionate about. And they want to see the completion and see it through. I'm most grateful for that. And the fact that I have that with this project on set all the time and now with this premiere... Is, is, it has nothing it has no other option but to succeed and blossom and bloom into something groundbreaking you know what I'm saying it's not the best film ever but it's our best and people are going to appreciate that and it looks like it's our best you know and then I'm, I'm just excited all the way around man. Yeah. I can't wait well again uh, grab some tickets you flick from the movie.com you can head over there right now uh, mm-hmm. Purchase uh, some tickets to the premiere. You can uh, again. This is a uh, you know put on a nice shirt and tie and oh, come yeah, on yeah. out. Oh yeah, the red carpet is gonna yeah. be out. The camera's yeah. gonna be out. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we gonna make an entrance too. And yeah, uh, we gonna make an entrance. The uh, so it is uh, at uh, Emerson Theater in Harrisstow University. Um, mm-hmm. So come on over there on uh, November third, and then. Uh, yeah, you get to, like I said, again, you get to see the film, you get to hang out with the cast uh, and chat and talk about the film afterwards, so yep. it's going to be a great night. Uh, so, I guess uh, closing it out, what's what's next now? Like, is this, uh, I mean, have we, have we thought about? Oh, there's definitely that? a part two. Yeah? There's a part two to afflict them. Um, the premiere is only the tip of the iceberg, right. so the premiere is our gauge on... Uh, the PR for the major platforms that we're going to be on. So right now, it's, it's just a lot of technical stuff behind sure. the scenes. So the premiere is kind of the prelude to what's going to happen on a major scale. You know, regionally, hopefully, uh, nationally, within, I'd say, 
first going into second quarter next year, it'll be a national, it'll be a national thing. So it's Beflictum is going to be a big deal. It's going to be a real big deal to the city and the region. So we definitely have a part two already written. So we'll get into yeah. filming it maybe um, spring. Get these two over here married real quick and uh, <laughs> make that happen. Yeah. He's gonna get her a ring first. Praise God. First. Oh, that's what he's gonna do first. I'm gonna get her three rings. I mean, yes. Yeah, but yeah, guys, come out November 3rd. Doors open at 7. The show's gonna start at 8. Red carpet event, so come dress to impress. Um, we'll have a discussion panel after the movie so you guys can hang out, ask the cast some questions, take pictures. We'll be more than likely signing posters. So um, it's going to be a, a good thing, man. And we really would appreciate everybody from Rock Paper Podcast and all the fans and supporters. We really appreciate you guys if you came out, man. Yeah. So, and, oh, and um, tickets are online only. We're not doing any, uh, we're not doing door sales. So it's online only for the tickets and they're $10. So, yeah, save ten dollars, yeah, and spend it on a ticket. There you go. There it is. To see flicked in the movie. Yep. Yeah. Flick and uh, and we have a official Facebook page there. You can uh, go and RSVP to the uh, screening event and uh, yep. and everything. So, uh, any more details that can be found at if you flicked in the movie or. Yeah, you flicked them the movie. movie. Oh, wait, y'all talking about you flicked them the movie? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you flicked yeah. them the movie, yep. E, that's E F F L I C T I M. Edward, Frank, Frank, Lincoln, Igloo, Cat, Tom, Igloo, Mary. Oh, why are you so Ooh, nice, bro? You flicked them the movie. That's hell. Edward, Frank, 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 Dirty mother. Show me that ass, Jake. <laughs> I'm a, you, I can't wait to do a movie with Denzel. I just know what's gonna happen. I cannot wait to do a movie with bro. Yeah. I'm gonna bring it. Yeah. I'm bring it. I'm gonna make it. Rush my chops up. Oh, yeah. My nigga, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. My. Oh, you think you can act on uh, Yeah, you think you can act on it. Well, he just did his first sequel. Oh, yeah. He did last two. That's right. He's never done a sequel, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It was dope too. Maybe yeah. he'll do a flick him too. He flicked him hey. too. There you go. Denzel. Let's go go there. Let's go. Ah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he flicked him the movie, huh? Yeah, he flicked him the movie. <laughs> well, very cool. cool. This is uh this has been an incredible night. I, mean, I really uh, appreciate you all doing this. Oh, we appreciate I, uh, you having us, man. I'm excited for you all. I'm excited for to see the movie. And uh I'm just I will, I'm excited to see what happens. It's gonna be it's gonna be a wild ride. Yeah, so, yeah, it is, man. For sure. Yeah, it is. November third is not that far away. So, no, yeah, part of time, November third, with the flick of a movie crew. And there it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Rock paper podcast. Rock paper podcast. Rock paper podcast. Rock paper podcast. Well, yeah, that was it.